Today, I'm going to show you how to get Cydia back on your Yalu jailbreak. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you the IT means I try. So if you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews and tech modifications and answers to problems you may be having with your jailbreak and devices. So I have an iPad that I was having a problem with and when you rebooted with Yalu, all my apps were gone. My studio was gone. So I'm gonna show you how to get it back. So I fixed it and then I messed it up on purpose just for you guys. So let's go check it out. Okay, so first of all, I know it's late, so pardon me. I guess I'm in nightwear, so I wanted to show you what's going on. So here, Here on my iPad, we have here, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So you see your Yalu jailbreak right over here and no Cydia apps. No Cydia apps. So this is all you're getting. You hit go. It goes to jailbreak. And when it comes back, you do not have Cydia on there. So for some reason, if you're, I don't know, have no room, and you wanted a fresh install and you deleted by erasing all your applications and settings, general, reset, reset all, or network settings, whenever you have a jailbreaking device, never reset all. But in case you did, and you look, see that reset, we hit Yalu, nothing comes up. Okay, so if you reset all or reset network settings, all your stuff will go bye-bye. So this is a fix. So let's check it out. Okay, you're going to need a couple tools. Tool number one, I'm gonna put links in the description. You're going to need iFunBox. Now it's HTTP colon full slash full slash www.i-funbox.com and it will look like this, okay? So you also have to have iTunes on your device and you're going to need your friend, Putty, okay? So first thing you're going to do is make sure that your iPad is recognized. You're going to click USB tunnel and you're going to see this now You need to see this address here Now let me zoom in for you You see the IP address that you're going to need for putty so if you like I see 127.0.0.12 one colon two two. So once again, one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon two two. So we are going to copy, and you're going to need putty. You're going to paste. You're going to hit open. And you're going to see this. Now, the root, you need to go log in as root. So that's the administrator account. So root, 
hit enter. Now the password on an Apple iDevice is Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. Hit enter. Now you're in as root. So the first command you're going to put in is UI cache kill all and I'll put everything in the description and then capital F spring with a capital B springboard you hit enter and you let it do its thing when it comes back with the prompt you're going to copy the kill all so while this is going let me see if you guys can see this is still going so the prompt comes in so all you're going to do is to copy kill springboard and I'll put this here so if you right click it will copy now we do enter you see that it killed the springboard over here and we'll wait for it to reboot okay so let's go in you see that it killed the springboard still not up okay now if it doesn't come up when you do this it still says already jailbroken. You want it to say already jailbroken. Now, the next command you're going to do is rm for remove space forward slash dot installs underscore yahoo and then capital X. Now, hit enter. Now you may not see what it's doing now. Okay. But it's doing something, it's removing the installed Yalu. And you're going to go back on the kill all. Make sure you guys see that. And you hit enter again. It's restarting the springboard once again. But this time, if you look, we hit here, you'll see already Joe broken. Okay, so now restart the iPad. And what this will do, you'll see that it will redo the jailbreak. And once you do that, it should bring back your young dream. Restarting the device. This happens sometimes. You lose, you, you come back, CD is not around. So this will get it on the Yalu jailbreak, but it will also work for other devices if I can find any other devices that I own. I will get rid of Cydia so you guys can see. Okay, so we go here. You see Yalu. And now we hit go. And we have it do its thing. So the last command should have removed uh, the cache Yalu. Anything that was there would remove. And you'll see that it says almost full. You can hit OK. That's good. And when it comes back, your jailbreak in Cydia should come back with your jailbroken apps. And that will bring you back to a jailbroken state with Cydia. So anything I have here, you'll see in the description. So you need iPhone box once again, and putty. And the fact that you see it's taking so long is actually good. And now when we go here, we have, let me show you. 
You have Cydia. Get a better angle for you. Let's turn off this light for a second. Lower it. Now you see that we have Cydia and our other app here. So if we click, let's put in the password to the Wi Fi and back for one second. And see this coming up. Nice and good. You can see it's ready for you to add repositories to do what you need to do. And to show you that everything is working fine. Okay, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you fix Cydia to come back on your jailbroken devices when you got a glitch, you've deleted, you've done erase, or you've done erase all in the reset settings and Cydia is no longer there. This is how you fix it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope this helps people out there. Um, this works for Yalu, but it also works for the previous jailbroken devices that we have out there. We got Pangu. Try it out. Let me know if you have any questions. My name is Hervé from Hervé's World. IT means I try. Peace. Catch you guys in the next one.